From Upper Michigan Source, this is your Friday Night Fever on the Band. I'm Mike Ludlum. Big Boys High School basketball game in Dickinson County. Iron Mountain hosting Ishpeming. Iron Mountain, the number one team of the UP Big Five poll. Let's go to the second half. Inside, Hart Holmgren, the NMU recruit, bounces that one in off the rim. He had 27. Moments later, Dondre Yohe takes the pass for three, knocks it down. He had 20. Hematite's doing pretty darn well and loving it. Up five with three and a half to go. Then Marcus Johnson gets to work. He says, enough of this, and puts this one up and in. Back to the Hematites. Yohe, that would be Dondre, to Jaden Tucker underneath. Flips that one in off the window. Back to the Mountaineer side of things. Foster Wonders had 22 points here to Jaden Vicenzi and then Johnson for three more. He could do anything he pretty much wanted against the Hematite guards. Clock ticking, Hart Holmgren, baseline, spin, score off the window. Dondre Ohi is going to get a layup coming up here on a crossover move. But what you don't know is the Mountaineers were making free throws at a pretty good rate. And Iron Mountain will get another basket from Johnson. He ended up with 33. And the Mountaineers remain undefeated with an 80 to 77 win over Ishpeming. Also in the Mid Peninsula Conference, Manistique visiting Westwood. This is fourth quarter action. Skylar Anderson gets the put back and the old fashioned three point play, but the Emeralds were down more than 20. For the Patriots, Ethan Burke to Cameron Mason, little pitch out, and the golfer says four for three. Doesn't work out well, but then five minus two in the jersey number does pretty well too. Again for the Emeralds, Joey Hoholik, a nice pass to Canton Lazan for the layup. It was the best quarter for the Emeralds, but Westwood picked up the victory by the count of 41 to 25 as we watch that layout. Next, Menominee Marquette in the Great Northern Conference. Traylon McFerrin, the alley oop to Maris Gazoulas. He had 19 points and 10 rebounds. We are late in the first quarter. Then McFerrin, a crossover dribble that really impressed the student section for the layup. 22-10 Marquette after eight minutes. So we go to the second, everything goes Marquette's way just about. Liam Dar. Dar's a nice looking three-pointer right in front of me and Marquette is off and moving. Maroons try to save the ball from an over and back. That doesn't work. Lane Mason, nice drive and nice touch off the window as well. The student section going nuts. Then Marquette loses control of the ball. Brendan Harris ahead to Caden Bigger. That stopped a Marquette run of 24-0 in the second quarter and an easy victory for the Redmen, 67 to 31. Also in the GNC, Escanaba hosting Kingsford. Final seconds of the third quarter, Carter Hudson shoots like his dad. Well, at least I think he shoots like his dad. 58-53, Eskimos after three to the fourth, Luke Tarion. A rebound, a putback. He ended up with 31 for the maize and blue. On the out of bounds play, it is Craig Kameen to Austin Willette. That one's in. He had 19. Eskimos up 10. Flivers shooting touch started going cold. Ryan Robinette ran the floor and despite foul trouble, he had 17 points. Escanaba pulls away to win this one 79 to 64. On the scoreboard, Reese Wara had 24 for Lance. Purple Hornets in the win column, 55-46 over Hancock. On to 53, Wakefield Marinisco, 39. Bessmer downs Lakeland and Hubble, 62-47. Wildest game of the night, believe it or not. Well, okay, just over the border in Hurley. Ironwood's Tony Remery had a three-pointer under five seconds to go. Full court inbound to Arthur Johnson, knocks down the shot, and Hurley gets the victory 60 to 59 in the border battle. Chassel 57, Republic Michigami 52, Ewan Trout Creek 71, Jeffers 41. Let's check on the number one team, the Little Five Pole, that's Dollar Bay, visiting Barriga. And it didn't take long for the Blue Bolts to start banging in buckets. Devin Schmitz gets the steal. He's going the other way, sees nobody's really challenging him. Then a really nice back bounce pass to Jocko Iacono for the easy lap, blue, blue bolts up 2-0. Short time later, Schmitz, another helper, because that's Brandon Thompson knocking down to three. Barriga would get on the board, off the miss from Zach Sackett. 
Cooper Koskinen will grab the rebound quickly, put that one back up and in, but the Vikings were down a bunch. Schmitz will finish with style this time. Apparently he had enough assists for the time being. And Dollar Bay wins the 68 to 30. Dollar Bay, you and Trout Creek, Wednesday night at Michigan Tech. That will be a full place. Meanwhile, back to the Southern UP. How about North Dickinson and Barker River Harris? That nine points toward 1,000 is for Ryan Arndt. He is Hunter Debelak of the Broncos for three. He had 13. North Dickinson the other way now. Jared Miller, nice leaner in the lane, gets that one the goal. He had 14. Again for the Nordics, Joel Roll with a dozen. And again, sweeping across the lane, nice looking shot. Meanwhile, back to Mr. Ryan Arndt. He's a deep threat from three. I think that's a pretty good understatement because he had seven of them. Yes, he was a busy man. And in case you didn't see that one, you get this one because he goes over the 1,000 point mark on that basket right there. He ended up with 32, so he has 1,023. Barker O'Hare is the winner of this one, 85 to 45. Back to the numbers, Norway cruises past Stevenson, 65-37. Forest Park upends North Central, 56-52. We did not hear from Big Bay to Knock and Rapid River. Preston Lauger has 30 for Kearney NATO. Wolves 93, Wolverines, Amid Peninsula 69. Terry Brower 21 for the Orange and White. Sheboygan defeats Newberry 59 to 40. Angadine upends Brimley 56 to 52. Sault Ste. Marie no trouble with St. Ignace. Cedarville 74 and Rudyard 60. Girls basketball. Third quarter action between Nagani in the white and Gwyn on the far side of the screen. Natalie Bartle gets the pitch out and says, if I can find a foot of room to the basket, I'll take it. 26 points, 12 rebounds, and 7 steals. Then Bartle on the inbound, and Natalie, or Abby Nelson, I should say. And Abby drains the three-pointer. Defense, yeah, Nagani knows how to play that too. Clara Johnson, the steal, Michigan Tech recruit with the layup. Easy victory for the Miners, 52 to 18. On the girls' board, limited edition, Menominee 60, Gladstone 38, Lance and Antonagin will try Saturday. Wakefield Marinisco, four points better than Ironwood, 57-53. In the makeup department, Munising over Carney Nato, 69-34. Ooh, it was a rough night for the Florence Bobcats. Crandon took care of business, 70-22. On the hockey scoreboard in the WCHA, ugh. Right now, Bowling Green has Michigan Tech's number, and you really can't argue beyond that. 7-2 Falcons, and that makes Tech 0-3-1 against BG this season. Lake Superior State comes up with a good victory, 2-0 over Bemidji State. That would have helped if Michigan Tech could have won. Nick Kossoff had 28 saves. Also in college hockey, Finlandia loses a pair of 6-1 contests. The women to St. Scholastica, the men to the Lumberjacks of Northland. High school hockey, the big showcase tournament in the Lower Peninsula. Sam Urkela, two goals for Calumet. Copper Kings, five. Flint Powers, one. Shootouts, popular because you don't want to play a lot of overtime in all these games. Houghton gets a shootout goal from Dawson McKay and P.J. Donnelly to beat Cranbrook, 3-2. Hancock, unfortunately, lost in a shootout to Plymouth, 3-2. Two. And Sault Ste. Marie needed a shootout to get past Gross Point University Liggett, 3-2 as well. Also in high school hockey at the Michigan Tournament, a little different this year. Three teams from Michigan, only one from Wisconsin. Nagani 4, Lance 1, and Jeffers defeated Tomahawk by the count of 6-4. to four.